What is up everybody? Hey, recently I saw Alex Schlinski post in the high level group how much more sales you will close when you have a pitch deck. And I said, hey, I have got one of the best pitch decks in the entire biz, in my humble opinion, and I think you guys might want to have it. So today I'm going to walk you through the entire pitch deck. It's called the Genie Pitch Deck. Let's go. I'm going to ask my editor, Maria, to throw up eight boxes on the screen right now. We're gonna go through each box and walk through how the Genie Pitch Deck works. If you're newer to sales, this is gonna be eye-opening. You're gonna absolutely love it. If you're more experienced and you want to streamline and maybe even hire a salesperson so they can start doing sales for you, you are gonna need a process. So right here on this here piece of paper, I've got each of the eight steps listed down. Now, the eight steps will be followed succinctly inside of the Genie Pitch Deck, and I'll tell you how to get that here in just a minute. Step number one, BRT. So in box number one, we're gonna put the letters BRT. BRT means build relationship of trust. Now, I don't care who you are, people buy from those they know, like, and trust. This is well established, everybody knows this, but we're trying to automate the entire sales process and you can't do that. Now, from your content, from your videos, people will build trust from you, but they won't actually get to know you and want to buy from you, especially if you're selling higher ticket items, unless they trust you. So the first two to three minutes of your call should be BRT. You should be building relationship trust. What do you do to do that? The hack. The hack to building relationship and trust is make the conversation about the prospect. Don't talk about you. Don't talk about your company. Ask the customer about themselves. Ask them questions so they can tell you more about them, about their needs, about whatever the case may be, their past experience. That way, in dialogue, you can display you know, that you're genuine, that you're authentic, and that is step one. Step two. At the beginning of this call, we're going to frame the outcome. Box two is frame the outcome. What does that mean? Well, if you're doing this genie pitch deck properly, you're bringing a very specific person onto the call, right? You're not bringing a whole category of people, you're bringing what I call a sub niche. So a very particular segmented person. That means when you frame the outcome, if you have qualified properly, the person that you're talking to will want that outcome, all right? And framing the outcome is kind of like making a promise, right? You're saying, hey, this is what we're going to accomplish by the end of this pitch check. They know rather why they're actually on that call and that they're there for the right reasons, all right? In step number three, basically what we're doing is we're outlining the three core things that they are going to gain, and I'm not gonna say the word uh, learn because learn, that sounds like a bad word, that they're going to discover while they're on that call with us, okay? That is the content section. If you've done any uh, studying on webinars, you know that the content sec uh, section is usually three parts, one, two, three. Three is for a reason. Um, people don't generally retain more than three core pieces of new information. So three is what we go with. You want to make sure that every section of content breaks up into these three parts, promise, discovery, proof, or in other words, what your claim is, your promise. So if you say we've solved low quality leads, okay, this is how we solve low quality leads. And then the third thing is you need to back it up with proof. Anytime you make a claim. It's not good enough to just tell a story and then move on. If you do that, you're leaving behind an opportunity for an objection to come up. People will not believe you unless you prove to them that what you stated is clue. So it's promise, story, proof. That's what you gotta do on each one of the three parts. So after you've done the three parts, the, the content portion of your pitch deck, the transition portion of your pitch deck is really important because you've gone this entire time, you've set them up properly, you've set the frame, you've gone through the content, it's really good so far, but you're moving, you're transitioning from learn to buy. And that transition is really, really important and you can muck it up with a bad demo, you can muck it up a lot of ways. So in the Genie pitch deck, we give you a script, I show you exactly how to do that so you don't ruin all the hard work you just laid, you know, all that educating and all that value building. We don't want to ruin that. So we transition properly 
and that is the next step. The next is risk reversal. Before you position the offer at the end of your pitch deck, you are going to want to reverse the risk. Now, there's a lot of discussion out there about proper uh, guarantees and about putting guarantees on your ads. I personally really don't like that at all. I think it positions you very poorly when you put guarantees of outcomes, like I'm gonna get you this many sales or this many whatever. I mean, you guys, Facebook ads, your agency, these things aren't vending machines. You don't just walk up and boom, all of a sudden, uh, you know, they print money. There are nuances and variables, and one of the variables are the customers themselves. How good are they at prospecting, following up, whatever the case may be. So I don't think that guaranteeing outcomes is a very smart or prudent thing to do. And personally, I don't think you have to do it. But I do think it is very genuine to offer some type of money back guarantee. They already have it built in. If they swipe a credit card and they don't wanna pay you, all they gotta do is do a chargeback. So there's already a satisfaction guarantee implied in the purchase anyway. You may as well use it to your advantage. Now, for me, the one I like to use and the one that's in the Genie Pitch Deck is the Jason Fladlian Decide Inside Guarantee. It's genius and it goes something like this. Hey, Mr. Prospect, this is what we call the Decide Inside Guarantee, which is this. If I've represented anything on this call to you that isn't true, I want you to feel like you have the comfort of getting your money back. By the way, whether it's 28 minutes from now or 28 days from now, if you're not happy, I'm not happy. Because the reality is, is right now you're on the outside of our platform and you can't decide from the outside. You have to decide from the inside. So we'll get you access. We'll get you in there. If for whatever reason, it's not a fit or you felt like I've misrepresented, then we'll go ahead and give you your money back. Fair enough. Boom, risk reversal. Now we can move on to where the game changes. All right, so I have three more steps. I have the next as stack the sale. Now, when we go into sales mode, we wanna position the monetary value of the thing that we're selling as maximal, right? We want it to be perceived as a really high value because at the end, we're gonna bring the price down to increase our conversion rate. So. Stack the sale means you take your value proposition itself. You take what you're offering and you pull it apart in pieces. Here's what I mean. A lot of times agencies will go out and say, hey, my, my offer is fill in the blank. And they'll just lump it all into one thing. If you don't deconstruct the different ingredients of your offer that help the person get to the outcome, then you're not really talking about the value. And so in the Genie Pitch Deck, when I talk about the UPEX plus high level model, I'll say you'll get access to our entire library, you'll get access to easy ads, and you'll get access to our support team. So three things. I'll make sure that I mention all three things in the deck itself. Other than, I guess that would be in contrast to, hey, you're gonna get Facebook ads in three clicks. Yeah, well, pull it apart. What's in there? You're gonna get good Facebook ads. They've been used by other places. They're proven. You're gonna get easy access. You're gonna be able to launch those ads in just three clicks, that's another one. And then you're gonna get help if you need it. You have customer support, whatever. So you've got three things that each have their own value and by themselves, they have more value than one thing if you just say, oh, three click ads. You're going to stack the sale. Now, as you do that, and as you pull apart your stack, you're gonna say, this one, this package here is valued at this price. And you throw out what we call a price marinade. And that is a price point that, that is quite a bit higher than what you intend to sell for. So let's say you wanna sell for three grand at the end. Well, you say, this price package is at $6,000, okay? This price package is at $4,000. This price package is at $3,000. Now there are three separate packages, but the next step is where all the magic so the next package is sell one thing. Now in the Genie Pitch Deck, you're going to see the three options, but the very last slide is where all the magic happens. And that basically is you remove all the constraints from the sale and you provide the thing that they really wanna buy, but they're not sure if they can justify the price. You provide that thing, but at the $3,000 price point instead of the $6,000 price point, and then you say, what would you like to do? And that is the last step. The last step is close. And really, 
If you're doing closing properly, this last box, closing is really simple. If you've gone through the entire pitch check the proper way, you stay on track, then it's going to be very simple for you. Where it gets complicated is where you make the offer complicated or where you're not confident in what it is that you're selling. So the entire PDF that is in the Genie Pitch Deck, you can get that by clicking the link in the video, in the description of this video, you can get that entire thing. And then you can just go ahead and build your own. You can adapt it. I'll give you the slides. I'll show you what's in the slides. I'll even give you the script. Okay. You guys, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, let me just key over to real quick. Jeremy was using this exact same pitch deck and he was using it in his agency because he was making like zero sales. He made like out of 15 demo calls, made zero. I said, Jeremy, take this pitch deck and see what he was able to do with the Genie pitch deck. Check it out. Well done. And by the way, uh, Jeremy's been here for a long time uh, and he, he maybe, I don't know how long ago, a while ago, he and I got on this call <clears throat> and it was just he and I before anybody got on. And I said, hey man, how's it going? And he goes, well, I've done 15 demo calls and I've closed zero. <laughs> I'm like, what are you Pretty doing? Sure. And um, gave him the genie pitch deck and he just has put in the hustle and put in the work and completely changed his business. So good job, buddy. That's awesome. Appreciate it. And, and to everyone out there, I <laughs> I give a ton of credit to Sam in these calls. You know, I, I haven't been on in a while, but for a long time, there wasn't a Friday that I missed. And um, so much of the success in anything is surrounding yourself with with like-minded people. And if you don't have that, I don't have that really around me here, but I've got that here with, with you all. Um, so if you're struggling with mentality, come to these calls, go to Jacob's calls, go to all of those because even if you don't have somebody you can go get coffee with and talk business, you've got all that here with us and these groups. So appreciate you.